contribution. Very quickly, we have some very interesting question from Twitter, which we will ask very quickly. We have one from Coraima Pereira, who asks, mining landfills, is this not a danger? Because we might be digging up um, hazardous materials such as Uh, Professor Haulam. As asbestos, sorry, we're talking about. Is it not a danger, this mining um, landfills, because of the danger of digging up the dangerous materials like asbestos? Dr. Hogland, uh, Professor Hogland. The really relevant issue to be very careful when you do this. And uh, the old generation, there the are those that are, have been older than me, and um, they said, <coughs> let waste stay in the ground. And uh, that was of environmental reason. And at that time, we also believed that the soil could treat more. Uh, even the Swedish EPA during the 1950s recommend that you should dig down toxic uh, substances, barrels and so on, on industrial areas. You can easily find such toxic barrels. So if you shall excavate a landfill, you must be careful. You can also uh, expect that you can have areas that have toxic barrels, and we have even found bombs, for instance, from, from the world walls and, and so on. So, I mean, you, you shall be careful, and even the uh, methane gas, if you have still methane gas there in a proportion 5 to 15 percent with the air, there is a risk of explosion. So. Uh, you shall not underestimate the risk, so you must have security rules and uh, teach the personal and have right clothes and so on. So me and my students have written a manual now, uh, recommendations for safety uh, rules that you shall have when you make this is excavation. And it's also when you are transporting all this material and so on, you must be careful. And uh, also, <clears throat> you can still have gases of different kind, so you must have a gas warning system. So uh, if you have a town district nearby, then uh, gas can drift into the city and so on. So. Uh, but, I mean, uh, even if we handle daily waste, I mean, the waste management business is not risk-free. And uh, you have every mental problem when you are sorting daily waste also. But you need to be extra careful when we go to old landfill if we, if we don't have the statistics and so on uh, and uh, haven't made uh, good uh, enough uh, excavation, test excavation uh, before. You need to investigate what can be inside that. And then you need perhaps to go even into old uh, telephone books and so on. What kind of industry did you have uh, 30 years ago here and so on. So uh, you shall be careful, but uh, there is money here and you can also make safe excavations. Muchas gracias, profesor. Uh, Tenemos tiempo. Thank you, Professor Hogland. I think we have time for a final question. Antonio Francisco, whether demolition and building waste can be converted into concrete. I think it's the professor's turn to answer this one. Todos los residuos y demolición Eh, pueden incluirse como, como arenas en los hormigones o como cantos. Muchos de ellos sí, pero no, no, no todos o no el 100% de ellos. Sí que se pueden fraccionar grandes cantidades de residuos de construcción 
sin presencia de eh, metales tóxicos fundamentalmente, pensando en la, en la seguridad, pero sí que se usan, se usan sobre todo para eh, hormigones con, con que se utilizan para bases, para ese tipo de, de construcción, no para no para hormigones estructurales con demasiadas responsabilidades. No. Muchas gracias, profesora Lass. Pues, eh. Thank you, for Professor Lass. I'd like to thank all seven of our speakers and Professor Hogland. And we'll move on to our next panel. Is to we'll take a short break. How long is the break going to be before we move on to the next panel discussion? How long is the break? Sí. 15 minute break. <laughs>